Well, I think the Lord's been here tonight. Amen. Thank you for everything He's done in my life. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's been a tough day. I ain't the only one can say that, though, I don't imagine. Amen. We've been talking about the storm tonight, and that's exactly what the Lord gave me last night. The message is called Calming of the Storm. Amen. And it feels like all the time, well, all of us are going through storms. It ain't just me, it's everybody. But it's that, that's where we're all at, you know, in this last day. Yeah. I don't see nothing but a storm from here on out. But, you know, the good news to all that, of course, is Jesus said he never leave us or forsake us. So I know he's with me and he's with every one of us that's going through a storm. Amen. I'm going to be reading in Mark 4, 35 through 41. And it's hard not to get down in the storm. Yeah. Because yeah. that's exactly what the devil wants. He wants to get us down in that. I, I'm speaking personally, you know. But I've heard other people say that too. One of the storms that come to my mind while looking this up was where Jesus was calling the storm, you know, and said, Peace be still. And I think about that all the time. Because it just takes them word from him, peace be still. And I'm, we obviously, obviously, we wish we could do it that quick and that easy, but it don't come that way. Sometimes, you know, we gotta be on that potter's wheel for a longer we like. Amen. But that's all right because once we're done and out of that, then we come out stronger, yeah. more faith than ever. It's just get through it. It's part of it. Mark four thirty five through forty one. And the same day when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. <coughs> and when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as, a, as he was in the ship. And there was also with him other little ships. And there rose a great storm of the wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and he said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Amen. And when we're going through a storm, I don't, you know, most of the time I can just, speak from experience because I know what I go through. And then sometimes it don't look like there's ever in, in sight. Yeah. And I, I can't stand here and tell you why some storms come, but I do know that there's a lot of storms that we bring on ourselves. Yeah. And that's sad but true, but sometimes we don't realize that until it's too late we're already involved in it because we've made the wrong choice yeah. and didn't do the right thing. But So we have to go through that. One of one of the storms in the Bible that we can probably all talk about is Jonah. Yeah. You know, if he would only obey God. Come on. And done what he told him to go to Nineveh. Yeah. But he wouldn't do it, you know. And that's the way we are. When God wanted me to do stuff, many times I didn't do it and had to go through a storm, a trial. And there ain't nothing like a good old fiery trial to go through. Come on. But even when we do that, God still brings it out for our good. Amen. And every time I've been through a storm, I've looked back, and I've been through several like we all have, and I've seen a whole lot of good come out of them. And I don't ever want to fail God, so if the storm is what it takes for me to make it, as bad as I hate it, I'm going to have to be in a storm. Come on. Amen. Because I've been where I wasn't in a storm, and God could have even took my life, and I would have been to hell. And that's our goal, was to make it to heaven. Because yeah. sooner or later, this world's going to end. If not, then I'm going to die. Come on. I want my home to be with him, so all this will be over. Yeah. I'd like to...
to read Job 1, 7 through 8. Out of the Satan. Whence, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. The Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? If anybody could talk to us today about a storm, it would be Job. Amen. God gave him permission. To do anything you wanted to but kill him. Yeah. And we think we got it rough. Amen. I'm sure I'm not sure in matter of fact, Job's wife said, Won't you curse God and die? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I thought about well, what if my wife told me to curse God and die? Come on. I, I probably had though. <laughs> but things get bad sometimes. God wants us to tell him exactly how we feel, and he don't want us using no plain words. I didn't want to talk about, but he wants to know how we feel. Yeah. Because he already knows the heart, so we might as well speak it. But the, the good news to every storm that we go through, as I said before, is, is we're never alone. Amen. And his mercy and his love, that is way beyond what we can com comprehend. Yeah. The agape love, you know, that love that we just can't see. Yeah. It's unbelievable. God never promised the cross would carry, but not get heavy on the hill and get too hard to climb. Amen. But He did say in His Word that He would give us peace that passes all understanding. And there are so many scriptures in this King James Bible that talks about everything we need about peace, yeah, the comfort, and joy. Yeah. Even though it's hard to find joy sometimes. But we know it's there. And just because you don't feel it today, you don't mean it won't come tomorrow because it will. Amen. Man, man, Diana's is going through a, a storm now. Yes. When I opened this sermon up last night, God gave me this title. I, we woke up to a storm. I don't know what the Lord's wanting out of me and her, if that's even what this is about. I don't know. It's one of the biggest things I've ever went through. The devil has been fighting us hard. And it seems like the more we pray, to, the more things go wrong. And it's tough. Yeah. But I know what God has shown me. And the devil's trying to steal that from me and I. I'm standing on his word, what he spoke. Amen. And I don't know why it's taking God time. You know, it, it never, nothing ever comes in our timing. It has yeah. to be in God's timing. If he gave us what we wanted when we wanted it, then we would expect it, and we lose our, some of our relationship with him because we want it at that moment. God knows what he's doing. And there have been many times I've questioned, Lord, are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah. Because it don't go the way we think it should. But God has told us to stand still and watch you move. And watch the salvation of the Lord. And that she told us to watch for Him, to let Him move, just wait upon Him. Amen. And that's what we're trying to do. It's just... It's tough. Yeah. It, and what saddens my heart is to know that there is people that's coming up to us Christians, some of them is attacking me and her and everything we're going through. And I've prayed over and over, time and time again, God is why this is happening. Mm -hmm. Especially for the ones that say they're Christians. <laughs> and God has told me every time to keep my mouth shut that He would take care of everything. This is not going to do me any good to go to anybody and say how I feel because it's going to be out of anger, bitterness, yeah. and, and hatred. I can tell them what I think. 
then I'd probably be coming to the church to repent. And we would all do that. Because there's there's certain butts we get pushed in our own bodies that, you know, enough's enough. Amen. I just... I want to say that going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than being in the garage makes you a car. Yeah. And people today think just because you're going to church and you're, and you're labeled as a Christian that everything's all right. Mm-hmm. Thank God that I don't ever feel that way. Amen. Thank God for a personal relationship with Jesus. Amen. Thank God for a conscience and a heart that yeah. he has rebuilt the past few years. And I know what God's done for me. And they can't nobody take that away. Amen. Nobody. I know it's not a long sermon. But y'all just keep praying for me and my wife to make it. Amen. Don't ever quit praying for anybody. Amen. Because it's we're going to have to pray for one another in these last days to make it through everything we're going through. Yeah. yeah. And wait on God to move, because He will. Amen. Give more hands for His Word. Amen.